So this is a review or more of a comparison of a, I guess a pretty high-end smartphone for back in the day compared to the iPhone 5. The one on the left is the Hitachi SH G1000. Now, I would have to say back in 2001 or so, 2000, 2001, the phone on the left was like the killer phone. Uh, a lot of people who had this phone thought they were the, the best thing since sliced bread, basically. Um, I remember when I used to work and sell uh, cell phones, various on Sprint, Verizon, and so forth, that this, was, this uh, particular phone that was on Sprint was uh, the high-end flagship model. You know, if you had this one, you were, you were doing pretty good. Uh, it was not cheap. The phone on the left was, I think, over $700, something crazy like that. I didn't even know if they subsidized the cost or anything. I think you just had to buy it outright. Um, and it was slow. I mean, it had Pocket PC 2002 on it. Um, it came with a 400 megahertz processor. It had a, with 32 megabytes of RAM. Uh, and, and your standard stuff. I mean, it did have a color screen. The screen was three and a half inches, which, by the way, at that time is awesome. It, the resolution of that screen was 800 by 600 with 256 colors, so it wasn't the best display, but it was a Super VGA. And it only worked on, obviously, Windows, but it did have a lot of stuff with it. I mean, this phone had... Um, Microsoft Outlook 2000, uh, Reader Link, Pocket Streets. Um, you could listen to some music. It had a soft case. It had an AC adapter, AC um, cable, USB cradle. So it definitely had a lot of different stuff that went along with it, but it was very bulky. Now, if you look at the box that I have here, this is what it looked like on the box when it was all powered on. And you can see, like, with the screen and everything. I mean, it didn't look bad. But, at that time, and it's still not, like, horrible, horrible design. It looks pretty cool, but this is what people before the iPhone had. And Apple, like I said, reinvented the phone and to get rid of this. And to basically just have the screen. So, if you take a look at the iPhone... That's pretty much what they did. They pretty much just took the screen out and just, I mean, took the keyboard out and just left the screen with one button. So it is interesting to see this phone because this is what the old iPhone had, three and a half inch screen. Now, of course, Apple did it even better with the iPhone 5 and now has a four inch screen, but it's a true widescreen. And it's even thinner. I don't know if you saw that, but um, I made a side-by-side -side comparison of the two to give you an in-depth look of how thin the one is and how thick the other is. It's an amazing what a, you know a decade of engineering can really do by micro by miniaturizing everything. Um, I mean, the port's on the bottom, the port's on the top, but I mean, you can see the dock connector at the bottom versus the iPhone. You can't beat it. Uh, the lightning adapter makes everything even tinier. I mean, the camera that's at the top of the phone of the Samsung, it's ginormous compared to the camera that's on the uh, iPhone 5. And the iPhone 5 takes 1080p video. This only does, I think, 320K. So it's like 0.3 megapixels. It's not even 1 megapixel worth of uh, video. So overall, I mean, the size, the weight, the resolution, the speed, everything's changed in like 10 years. I mean, you can get an idea of me just holding this beast of, in my hand. I mean, it's, it's a big phone. I mean, it's not easy to do stuff on it. I mean, you really do need two hands. I mean, just to mess with the video camera at the top. It's not easy. 
because this flips back and forth. That's how things were done back then. Manual. I mean, this came with a stylus, which everybody lost. I don't. Even, I mean, yeah, look. The stylus is missing up there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's missing. So, overall, I mean, it's not a... It's pretty cool to play with and have fun with, but this is really a paperweight. It's really worth nothing. It's kind of funny. So I pro probably will just give it to my son to play with as a pretend phone. But yeah, this was a this was state of the art ten years ago, and this is what people are using now. The difference in how it feels, and you can just you know hold it in your hand and just use it with one hand while this is so clumsy. You almost have to hold it down and type on it. And then, like, you know, there's no multi-touch on this. This is actually a plastic screen to protect it that's built in. You can see it. And then behind it, it's the LCD. So overall, the, I mean, even the build quality, I mean, it's using cheap plastics, no metal whatsoever. It just doesn't feel like a very solid phone. But when you pick up the iPhone 5, there's like an art form to it. There's definitely... There's definitely care taking into building a product of this magnitude, and it shows. So this is just a quick show of uh, what 10 years will do to cell phones, and what I believe Apple set out to do and succeeded in reinventing the smartphone. Thanks for watching.